This is a 40 foot, 12 meter roof climb called The Beast. No, that's not the beast. This, this is the beast. My friend Melissa and me are going to try and climb as many routes on the beast as we can, whilst having a slightly different competition than you might expect. <laughs> I was gonna snail. I <laughs> really hurt. Uh, I'll probably. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> I'll probably start on the red. Oh, I know, so Beautiful. cheeky. Tackers. I find those holes quite hard because they're like, you slide, don't you, yeah. So Melissa and I, we're also going to be comparing in this video who is the fittest. So we're both wearing Coros watches and we've both got uh, a heart rate monitor on. So you're going to be able to see how high our heart rates go <laughs> on the beast. I am expecting it to be like 250. What's the point where you die? Oh, this bit's not that easy. <laughs> Is that a black cord? Yeah. I feel like I've been climbing for like a day and a half. It's ridiculous. The fact that there are routes that are longer than this I think should not be allowed. Oh God, <laughs> that's nice. exhausting. That is so tiring. Spicy. Spice weasels. Little pockets in the middle of it. Yeah, many weasels Cheeky. on that, about four weasels. Four weasels? Well, the more weasels there are, the spicier it is. Oh, I no, get I it. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, I just say so. spicy. No, you spice weasels. Because uh. it's just, it <laughs> spicy, and then you've got one weasel, it's a bit spicy, oh, then yeah. just spicy. Yeah. Two weasels, spice weasels, times two. Extra spice. It makes weasels. sense, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the weasels. <laughs> the weasels, okay. Oh my god. Go on, you got it. Just think about the glory. <gasps> I'm thinking about it. I'm 
pumped. <laughs> What's it like to be able to climb whilst pumped but not looking pumped at all? I don't know. People used to say like, so I'd try a project or something and people would be like, oh, you're not even trying. I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm trying really hard. If you see the dog behind us, this is a Cameron's Freddy dog. She is called Lola. Uh, <laughs> the, the reason Melissa is laughing is because she also has another name. However, that's not suitable for cameras. So uh, I can't tell you what it is, but she lives in there. Isn't that nice? And this is Clive. Clive lives with her. Next up, Melissa and I are gonna have a little projecting session. Oh, now we've warmed up a bit on, there's a 7C wooden project here. One move away. That was so I was close. So pumped. <laughs> oh my god. Heart rate, what's your heart rate? I've died. I've died. 186. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. I was like, at the bottom, I started to get tired. And then I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to carry on. And I was still on the wall. I was like, oh my god, maybe I'll do it. Well, you got further than me, and I'm still projecting it, so. Well, yeah, but I, I, I'm dead now. That's true. That's it. I've just died. <laughs> That's it. I've had a heart attack. <laughs> Well, you got to do it now, for us. Send train. For the send train. Oh, oh no, we didn't send it. The, the it's kind of awkward the, now. I feel like I need a wee. I always get like nervous wees before I start. Okay, I'm ready. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, it's a high point, but I'm just really boxed. I'm going to work out what to do on the top and then try and have one go and hopefully do it. But I need to work out the top section because I did not climb it very nicely. I also want to see if I can skip also a lot of moves. Oh god, it's quite hard to get onto. <laughs> Definitely does make it a bit easier. Oh man, why did I not have my feet out here? You know when you like, you kind of at that point where you think you probably, you might do it, but you'll be really disappointed if you don't do it? That's where I am now. 
but also I don't know how well I'll recover because my recovery is pretty poor. I can I can just go, but as soon as I'm pumped, it's it's over. Like I feel like sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'm properly recovered, and then I pull on and do like three moves, and my elbows are up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Come on. I feel so shaky at the top of that one. Nervous. I'd like to do this. I actually find the start kind of tricky. And then you kind of zone out for the rest of it. And then you're back to being pumped again. Sometimes I feel like I need to get pumped first. Nice. Fall off pumped and then, hold on. <laughs> 187 heartbeat, that, that's close to death that is. <sighs> you looked a lot smoother actually that time. Thanks. You know, not, that you, not that you weren't smooth before, but. But that's what you were implying. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like, you, do you ever find where you, know, you need to get pumped first? And then once that pump's gone, the second go you're less pumped. Bit of flash bumpy. Sorry, hold on, I'm shaking. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No. Okay. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't get that. I just. I get pumped and then I'm just pumped. Yeah. I'm gonna try harder this time as well because I just let go. I was like boxed, but I didn't try the move, which I sometimes struggle with. I'm like, oh no, I can't do it because I'm pumped. But if I try, I might hold on. Heart rate, it's 189. Oh my god, that's close to death. Are you gonna have any more goes or move on to another one? I think we can move on. I'll start crying if I keep trying. Don't cry. Oh yeah, although that might be good for sympathy on YouTube. But it is the thumbnail. I use my Coros watch, the Apex 2 Pro, from the minute I wake up the minute I go to sleep because it tracks my sleep so it tells me the quality of my sleep which is really great to know so then while I'm training the next day I know that I'm fully recovered and good to go 
So actually, try really hard on that day and my risk of injury is much lower. Lola really likes cross. Look, she's loving that. And then when I'm having my actual training sessions, I use it to log each individual climb and I can log how many attempts I've had, how difficult it was for me, the grade of it. And I can also use my heart rate monitor so I can see where my heart rate spiked on each individual boulder, which also is a good indicator of how difficult that boulder was specifically for me or anything that I need to work on. So it's really great to have this much more data in my sessions, which points me in the right direction of how I can actually improve as a climber. If you'd like to check out Coros, go to the link in my description. They sell a bunch of incredible watches. This is the one I've been using, which is the Apex 2 Pro, which is perfect for climbing, designed for whether you're climbing inside, climbing outside, or in the mountains. I'm gonna try the yellow from the bottom. I've never tried it before, but it looks pretty spicy. How many weasels? <laughs> I was just gonna say about eight and a half. Oh my gosh! I'm climbing this really bad. No idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I was like all over the place. You were on the wall for quite a long time. Yeah, I know. A minute, a minute and a half. A minute exact. and a half. <laughs> that was just moving my feet around. I'm gonna try <laughs> this section again. Oh, that was better than I thought, actually. But then I was on the dual texture bit of the volume. Yeah, and I got a bit nervous. All right then, boys and girls, should we go do some climbing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to go do some climbing. I've had one go on this uh, when we were here last, uh, and it felt really hard. But I feel, I feel good today. I've had quite a lot of rest. So I'm hoping I can squeak my way through it. These holds are not nearly as good as Melissa made them look. That move is, <laughs> I felt like that was a rubbish fall. That move is so easy in isolation, but when you're a bit tired, a bit it feels tired. actually like a really long way. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> it's the slide of shame. And if you don't do it, you just stay here. I'm gonna try the bottom half again, but I'm gonna hopefully climb it a lot more precise. Uh, and then I'll feel better about myself. Okay. Do you not feel good about yourself now? No, I feel really embarrassed. <laughs> Thank you. 
Come on. I'm literally so boxed. I think the difference between Melissa and me is like, Melissa looks like she's climbing like she's got time, and I don't have any time. It's like, maybe you're disposing a bomb, you know, and you've got like 10 seconds or an hour. Melissa looks like she's got an hour, I've got 10 seconds and we're all dead otherwise. <laughs> the bottom was a lot nicer. I don't feel embarrassed anymore. I'm just gonna try the middle bit to make sure I climb it a little bit nicer and try climb from the middle, maybe to the top. I don't think I'm gonna do this bonus route. That felt so tiring. Oh my God. That's hard, that's really pumpy. And especially the bottom bit. Cause think, they're quite blobby. Yeah, the bottom's quite powerful and blobby. Yeah. And then you have to pinch. Yeah. And you it's just all gone. can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna try the top section again because I keep getting scared. And then hopefully this time I won't be. I can stick that. Oh, that felt okay, actually. That was good. I feel like pinches, the more you think about squeezing them, the better they are. Yeah. But if you don't think about squeezing them, they can be quite bad. It makes a big difference, just... Yeah, squeezing. Sounds really weird, doesn't it? But you know what I mean. But yeah, if you think about it in your head, squeezing, and just that action, then sometimes you can stay on pinches that you thought you could never hold. Only 130. I think it'll catch up because I'm holding my breath, but <laughs> it's, I felt fine until suddenly I got there and then I tried to move. And my entire body just gave up on life. It's like, you know what? We're done. I'm quite pleased I got there to be honest. Yeah.
Come on, you can go. Come on, Melissa. Come on. Come on, go for it. Come on. Oh, good effort. Amazing. I'm knackered. So to decide who is the king or queen of the beast, we, our watches and heart rate monitor have logged our average heart rate. So whoever has the lowest average heart rate of the session is the champion. What is yours? 166. Mine is 164. That is two less than you. Wow. I have never felt so powerful. <laughs> That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please press the subscribe button. What does it say on it? I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what